Then there was a carjacking that led to the chase that led to Watertown. Um, hearing that the MBTA police officer was actually wounded um, during the chase um, or, or immediately after the chase that there was gunfire and that's when the MBTA police officer let, 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 was wounded. Let's go back to MIT if you can and I'm not sure you can answer the question Kathy but 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 why was there a confrontation at MIT? Were, were they recognized I guess is the question I'm asking you. Um, I'm not sure at this point of that Ed but I'm trying to work to get more information on that. So we, we, we can also substantiate the MBTA police officer wounded. We had, we had heard from eyewitness accounts, and I believe it might have been from Shane, uh, who works here at Channel 5, who said that he saw um, uh, an officer on a gurney being wheeled to an ambulance. It was unclear at that point in time uh, which you know, um, officer it was, because there's so many law enforcement on scene right now, but that, that officer was conscious and, um, and talking to the other officers on, uh, in the area. So do we have any word on that officer or how serious his injuries are, Kathy? Um, I, I do have some information on that, Liz, but I, I really don't want to go there at this point. Okay. Um, but they, they are very serious. Okay. Um, but at this point in time, we believe that he is still alive. The MBTA officer is alive. The MBTA officer, yes, I'm, I'm being told, is in surgery right now at Mount Auburn Hospital. Okay. Well, New Center 5's, Team 5's Kathy Cohn has been able to piece together. All right, so, so folks, we've gotten to the point where uh, th this is the marathon bombing duo. Suspect number one, the man on the left, is dead. Suspect number two is the man that they are looking for right now. And, and, and as I mentioned, that we, we were speaking to a young woman from Watertown who, who lives in the neighborhood. She, she said the officer told him they had suspect one who was dead and suspect two they were still chasing. So that's who they're still looking for tonight. So if you're in Watertown, please stay inside. They have, they have clearly shown from what happened on Marathon Monday to what happened tonight at MIT to what happened tonight in the streets of Watertown that they're fully willing to go to any length to 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 you know, filter their escape, if you will, and and they are they are armed and dangerous. Well, there's an armed and dangerous person. One person is dead. The other guy is armed and dangerous. Kathy, are you still on the phone with us? She's in the yes, newsroom. I'm actually in the newsroom. Oh, She's in the good. Sorry, I didn't know that. That's Sorry. Okay. Um, you know, the, the, the question that comes to my mind at this moment is that while searching for this second suspect, I would imagine that police... Um, and law enforcement are hoping to bring him in as opposed to um, his fate being the same as suspect number one right now because otherwise how are they going to get any answers as to why this happened, what was their motive, who were they working with, if anyone. They're not going to get they, any motives. I mean, there's so many questions that need to be answered. And I, <laughs> They're going to warn him I dead. Would guess that they, are they don't have to answer questions To then. try to bring this person in as opposed to... Um, the, the situation that ended up with suspect number one. Well, obviously, Liz, you know, any information they could get, you know, from him would be key. Um, but at this point, you know, it's such a fluid situation. It's such a dangerous situation. Um, you know, shots are being fired. So we don't know what's going to happen. But obviously, if, if they have a suspect who is alive, who they get into custody, that would be key. In this whole, you know, just they probably went to MIT to check in with their MK Ultra handler. And the feds was like, we got to get rid of them. Anyway. And they well, figured that out and they broke away. Got chased down. One of them got killed. The other one's on the loose. But I don't feel at this point comfortable to release a name. I respect that. As, as I said earlier to our viewers, we have been very cautious um, as to making sure that we report what is factual, what is confirmed, and double and triple confirmed because this is a very serious situation. They're doing all this double and tri has, triple has, confirming. Uh, Literally, we go back all the way but to I don't the think they have all the correct people. In the afternoon. And Kathy, when you when you consider the just I the think all the suspects here, and all the other these, pictures these that they have of, the, of suspects one and two were released roughly in the images that were already 520 tonight. 
given and, and now, by Alex Jones uh, and the anonymous people one is, is dead, are the right two. ones. These are patsies, and, and, they are and this one's dead already. So Look forward to this one to be dead pretty soon. One is, one is dead, and they're not going to let neither one of them talk. In a relatively short period of time. <laughs> well, and, you know, <laughs> so do not be surprised when this one show up dead. Obviously, you know, if they are in the local area, someone's going to recognize them. You know, you have the so, detail of their hats, their faces, you know, the... The federal authorities did such a great job. And that's why they only wanted to focus on these two. <laughs> the other ones were with them in this the false public. flag and we even know fakery. From the moments these photos were released, so don't the even, don't even the news buy news. into the hype. You know, we were getting other photos. You know, people were identifying the type of <laughs> just, hat, you know, one of the suspects. This is some fakery at all time this, levels. These photos out was just key to developing this story anyway but, these you know, no these two knuckleheads that got caught up these patsies Jim Loke is, is uh, on scene. He's, he's down at the Arsenal Mall. And, and folks These are the bombing suspects. Technology is a little delayed. Went to MIT. Killed us. the Jimmy, cop. Bring us up to speed. You hijacked that, the car. Now I'm thinking they went to MIT to check in with their MK Ultra. Uh, yeah, Ed. We can tell you right uh, now, people a, uh, a staging area. You can see a lot found of out that they were suspects the and so broke they out. Uh, they were letting some cars Hijacked the not car. The, not the, uh, not the case got this spotted. Point. At least that vehicle made through probably a police car of some sort. Had a shootout. 25, 30 bullets between them and the cops. One of them is dead. The other one's on the run. The cops is all over the neighborhood. Guns drawn. Ready to shoot this fool at a moment's notice. They don't want to take him alive because they, then they'll have to answer questions. So don't be surprised if this dude is dead. Dead. Are you hearing anything, Jim? And, then, and this is all this has occurred in the last 30, 35, 40 minutes. It's a uh, 3 ish, 3 40 ish Eastern Standard Time, 12 40 uh, Pacific Time, where I'm at. So it's going down Rambo style in the middle of uh, Massachusetts. Search, uh, so you see what's going on, people. When they were over there, they were sort of keeping us at bay as they were with everybody else. Judge, so, jury, executioner, all, all in one oh, thing. I, I would not be that one, if she gone, on dead. We were on at that point because she was very close, and her descriptions to the area sounded very similar. Still on the run. At this point, the only confirmation we had that the search was still going on in Watertown came over on Mount Auburn Street. And they're doing all this careful checking because they don't want to get scooped by Alex Jones. Uh, thanks to Kathy Curran's sources. But anyway, um, this is your killed. breaking news has reporter. Police said anything to you about suspect the Village one. 70. And this is ELF no, breaking no, news. Explain it like a four-year-old. Breaking news. Still a very active search for one of the suspects.